Hey guys, uh, next we've got Torsten talking to us about what's going on in marble. Torsten. Yes, hello. Let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Torsten Rahn. I've been involved with the KD project since about 11 years now. Oh, that's a long time. And during the last four years, I've worked on Marble. I'm currently employed by Basiscom, which uh, is a company located in Germany that provides cute solutions. And uh, yeah, Marble is right now uh, entirely my spare, uh, uh, spare time project, which uh, we are working on with, I'd say, about six developers on average. And uh, for a first start, I'd like to just quickly like to uh, show the, some current results of the Google Summer of Code 2009 uh, students. One of them is sitting up there. That is Andrew Manson. Thanks. Yeah, and <laughs> and um, so who here knows Marble? Just so that I get some impression. Okay, so that's most of the people. So that's why I intend to uh, show mostly the current results of the Google Summer of Code project and go into some internal, maybe also. Okay, so. Uh, Right here we can see where we are currently located in the auditorio uh, effort across. And to prove that, we, I think, got here some Flickr photo. That is one part of the project that Bastian Holz implemented. We now got online services supported in Marble, um, with Flickr being one example. Um, you can turn them here on and off like photos, weather, and Wikipedia. So if we now zoom out, then we can see that here are some uh, weather labels featuring the temperature. In the future, you also have wind, wind velocity and um, pressure. And you can also see here some Wikipedia icons. Some of them don't have a photo. Some have a photo. The photo comes from the a Wikipedia article, if you, for example, press here, Grand Canaria Airport, then you get your Wikipedia ar article. Um, yes, and if you further zoom out, then you start to see, ooh, <laughs> yeah. So that is something that we'll fix in the future that you won't see uh, some photos misaligned. And this is how it looks like um, with the OpenStreetMap map, which shows you streets and all. And as you've discovered already uh, when looking on Gran Canaria, there's still a lot to do, especially regarding uh, labels, inserting label names. Using Marble, you can uh, choose between different map themes. One of them being the topographic map that delivers something that you know maybe from a classroom. I will just switch those plugins off for a start. Now they're gone. <laughs> and you can see something that looks like a topographic map. And there you can switch things on and off, like for example you can switch off, simulate the climate crisis like this, no snow, or make the relief disappear. Here as well you can click onto the cities and get Wikipedia article. Yeah, if you got some internet connection. A bit messed up. Okay, like that. And you can also measure distances. Like, for example, if you measure the distance between New York and Moscow, then you get such a line. And indeed, the line 
follows the surface of the earth. So instead of having the line going straight through London, it goes along the it goes along Iceland. And you can also look at the whole thing on a different projection, like on a flat projection. And there you see something totally different. Now the nice thing is that if you create such lines, they will follow even if you cross the date line. Well, right now uh, I have disabled the copying of the map so for the poly lines, so uh, you won't see here how, how, it, how it continues, but at least you don't get the line back there. Okay, that's something that is completely internal. And then there is the there are other maps. Let's just remove the measure points. Like this map. Oh, let's switch back to the globe. I think the globe still looks best. <laughs> Here, for example, you get the clouds. Oh, that's a bit of a pity. Yeah, sometimes the server has a problem. We're fetching the cloud data uh, from the same sources as Xplanet does, which provides a, a complete global coverage of clouds, cloud data. But right now there's something out of order. That's a bit of a pity. Uh, then we've got, for example, night view, plane maps, for example, uh, a historic map where you can also curiously see and it's back from 1689. You can see the Canary Islands, even properly labeled. Yeah, they just cut off here, unfortunately. Originally this map looked like this and we had to have some poor soul, <laughs> uh, Magnus' his name, uh, morphing the whole world map so that it gets into proper shape for marble. If you look how it works, it's uh, creating uh, custom maps for marble is pretty easy and you can create them also quite easily because uh, all the data gets just introduced using XML files so the whole stuff is not hard coded. Uh, then there are some additional maps like natural earth, temperature, precipitation and for bikers there's the open cycle map which provides uh, cycle maps. Then you can also have a look at other planets. By default, there is the moon included, which shows you uh, the Apollo mission uh, landing spots. And there as well, you get a matching uh, legend. Um, yeah, you can choose between different maps of the moon or, for example, Mars. <laughs> Let's have Mars. Not the chocolate. <laughs> or Venus. Much more beautiful. Pardon? <laughs> yeah, right, we need to find water feature. <laughs> but it won't work on Venus.